In tonight's WGN investigates how safe is that safe deposit box at your local bank. One man found out the hard way that the system he's trusted for years may need to be revamped. WGN's investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte goes on tonight's treasure hunt. And many of us grew up thinking that the safest place to keep your valuables is at the bank. That is probably still the case, but with a catch. One expert predicts that as people return to regular life after the pandemic shutdown, some may find their safe deposit box is gone. Perhaps they were behind on payments and the bank removed the box. One Chicago area man has yet to receive a full explanation of what happened in his case, but he is joining a chorus of others who think maybe there needs to be more oversight. I got a court order here to open a safe deposit box number 392. Movies are full of them. Brazen bank heists. What do you think that's worth? If you got to ask, man, <laughs> can't afford it. To keep you watching. But movies are one thing, real life is another. But the craziness is. Which is why Enrique Horna and his wife Allison trusted their bank to safeguard lifelong treasures. 1927, so it's 95 years old. Her grandfather's pocket watch was one of the things they kept tucked away in a safe deposit box at a local Chase bank. They kept an eye on it. I was seeing average every six months at each time, so yeah, I never had any issue. Every time, the box was right where they left it, along with everything they stored inside, until recently. A uh, lock was drilled out and no box on it. And just like many of us might, he thought, could he have the wrong box, the wrong key, the wrong bank? Maybe I'm mistaken and it's next to it. I, it didn't download me what was going to find out later, minutes later. What he found out floored him. The box with loads of valuables vanished. They came to me and said, sir, are you sure that key is not for a different bank? I'm loyal to you guys. I don't have another bank. All we know is from almost the beginning, it's in Texas. Why? How? The answer to those questions has been hard to come by. It's part of the reason they called WGN Investigates. We called Jerry Plort, who runs Safe Deposit Box Insurance Coverage, LLC. Most likely scenario in this case would be what? That they drilled the box, believing either it was abandoned the bank has never given them a clear explanation, but you would think the mix-up got reported to some sort of regulatory agency. Problem is the banks aren't required to report them, so there's no unified regu regulatory filing. What about the have. FDIC? FDIC does not have jurisdiction over them. The assets aren't insured by them, so they don't care. And the contract, although lengthy... Five, six, seven pages of a contract doesn't give you the most protection. They will cap that liability at $25,000. Right. And here's where it gets even more complicated. More and more lost box cases are popping up, more than 33,000 each year, with many banks choosing to bow out of the safe deposit box business. Do you think we're gonna get to a point where branches, banks are gonna do away with safety deposit boxes altogether? Are we headed in that direction? Um, certainly with the large banks. They don't view it as strategic in any way. It's not a financially money make it for them. It doesn't help them attract customers necessarily. You could say Enrique and Allison got lucky. Their box and valuables eventually turned up. It's still not clear what happened though, but they're hoping their story help someone else. I mean, at the end of the day, read the contract. You're really, it's not a safe deposit box. It's at your own risk. And probably this won't happen to other people, but I mean, it happened to us. What are the odds? And we did reach out to Chase Bank. They blame this on a clerical error, saying they removed the contents of the box with two bank employees present and then sent everything to a secure site. If you own a safe deposit box, here are a few things that you can do. Make sure that you are up to date on payments and check on that box every few months. And of course, read that lengthy contract before you sign it. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.